Kyler, talk about uh, summer workouts and how the team has approached that. Um, this this summer, you know, especially I feel has been huge for for me and a lot of guys. Um, there's been a lot of guys that gain weight, um, you know, look a lot better, and we got a lot stronger. Um, so. I mean, it, it's it's a good time of the year. You know, all there is is workouts, um, but it's also, you know, we put in a lot of work and it, it was a great summer. Have the linebackers done anything specifically to get ready for this season? Um, no, I mean, it's the same thing as usual. Don't, you know, if it's not broke, don't fix it. Um, just a lot of working out, a lot of extra film, you know, making sure we understand the defense, so. Talk about your linebacker coach and what might be different this year with the linebackers? Um, I mean, as far as watching the games, you know, I don't think anything really will be different. And he deals more with the inside backers than the outside backers. But, um, you know, he's done a great job of coming in and picking up the defense and, you know, kind of just picking up where Coach Kloon left off. Utah State returns two all-league linebackers from last year, including yourself. Talk about that group and what fans can look forward to this year from the Aggie linebackers as a whole? Um, you know, I think we, you can expect, you know, a lot of production as, as there has been in the past, you know. We, uh, we hold ourselves to a high standard, um, you know, just the whole defense does. Um, but us as linebackers definitely view ourselves as, as leaders and we're kind of just in that middle area where we talk to the D-line as well as to the back end, so we're the mediators. Um, so, you know, expect another great year. Are there areas of your game you're looking to improve on this season? Uh, absolutely, you know, pretty much everything. But um, if there's you know, two or three things that you can really focus on, what would they be? Um, I would say more production as far as pass rushing, you know, sacks, um, and probably more tackles for loss. You know, just kind of being more disruptive in the in the run game. You kind of touched on this, but with six. Starters not back from last year having graduated and whatnot. Mm -hmm. What can we really expect from this defense this year? Can it be as solid as those defenses from years past? Absolutely. You know, I think there are guys that maybe lack a little bit of experience, um, but that are just as talented, if not more talented, um, than the guys that have come before. And, you know, as long as they, you know, work hard and play within the scheme of the defense, you know, we plan on being a great defense. Message for Aggie fans. Um, you know, come out and support us. You know, we're looking forward to a great year. Um, and, you know, we have an opportunity to, to win the Mountain West and hopefully win another bowl game. So, I mean, that's what we're planning on. Well, what about the conference? I think there were some unknowns going into it last year. You guys, I think, exceeded expectations for most everybody outside the program. Right. Expectations this year, I would imagine, for you guys is to win it all. Right. Yeah, um, and that's, I mean, that's what it was last year. Um, and we, we came pretty close, but, um, you know, we have, you know, another great opportunity and we plan on winning the Mountain West, absolutely. One player on defense you think is gonna have a monster year for you guys? Um, I think probably BJ Larson, you know, they've done a little bit, something a little different with their technique as D linemen and I think, you know, he was a beast before, um, but there's just going to be a, a few more opportunities, I think, for him to make plays individually. So, I mean, I'm looking for him to have a great year.